Every Christmas, honey. How you doing, Brother Stogie? No, no, I don't like that one. No? no. <laughs> Hi, thank you. No. How are you? Yeah, finish, finish the year off strong, bro. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? My scar team? It, uh, my bad. <laughs> you threw me off. It's like golfing. You spoke right in the middle of my swing. <laughs> my What's going on, everybody? Scar Titan here. Once again, my good friend, Brother Stogie. Say hello to people. Tight baby. And we are back with another product review. And I don't know about you, Brother Stogie, but the Titans have felt pretty busy this month. Mm -hmm. And it feels like, you know, we're, we're playing a little bit of Santa Claus because we've been doing a ton of product reviews, but we've also been giving a lot of stuff away this month. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. You ready to get this one started? Let's give it to him. Welcome back, everybody. Like we said at the beginning of the episode, we've got another product review for the Titan fam. And Brother Stogie, this one is brought to us by... Majgar. Majgar. And that means... Majgar. Majgar. That's right. That is an acronym also for? Um, meeting the opposing. Nah, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> but we've got another 50 liter thermoelectric humidor that holds up to 500 cigars sitting here on the table. That's a big unit. Yes. <laughs> you gotta give me more than this. No, but I, what I was doing was, because you, you bothered me. So what happens is, we was like, and Majgar stands for, and I'm like, I don't know. But I'm like, it's gotta stand for something. So I'm like, Majgar, manufactured only, justifiably, <laughs> gifting all something, something. So I, 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 was, I was thinking in my head, my, my, my wheels was turning. I threw my you bed. off. I, I got you, bro, my bad. <laughs> I threw you I, off. I, I was thinking. Okay, let's do it. All right. So we've got a 50 liter, yes. 500 count. I can hear you. Thermoelectric humidor with a semiconductor and flux capacitor and all the bells and whistles inside. Yes. And with the Megatron juice trons to get all the <laughs> semi complex capacitors to make sure that uh, Megatron gets back off the planet and doesn't mess with the Autobots on the planet, we have to make sure that the, the interflux. Uh, nanometers are at <laughs> running at its full capacity. You're trying to put me to work on this editing, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Brother Stogie, but before we get into the review of the unit, the Titan Fam sees on the table here, you uh, you brought some cigars with you. Yeah, shout out to my boy Marvin from Benavides Cigars. Yes. Mr. Benavides himself. Um, this is the mid Paris Midnight. Look at that Maduro Robusto. Um, from Benavita Cigars. If you haven't heard of Benavita Cigars, hit, hit them up on Instagram. Um, you can find them at the Pomona Cigar Lounge. Which one is that? La Havana, Mi Havana Cigar Lounge in Pomona. Um, and Instagram. Hit them up. Um, you can buy yours online. And a very good steak so far. Yes. And even though it's like a Maduro esque type wrapper, um, I don't get real hardcore, robust notes off of it. So right now I'm easing into it. Very but smooth. you know, Brussels is always washing his back with these yes. dark ass cigars to make sure I don't get knocked on my ass at some point. Yes. But Brother Stogie, before we get into the actual review of the unit that you see here on the table, why don't you tell the Titan fam what some of the benefits are to having a thermoelectric humidor? Um, so just in case someone has just found the Seaguar Titans uh, YouTube channel. And actually I know some people have because we have some new people who uh, are our last three videos from the Zyphe Cigar giveaways. Yes. Who simply just kind of joined the Titan Lounge. So um, the benefits of these is because you have become so enthralled into the cigar community and you bought all kinds of shit online, um, especially for Christmas to put it under Christmas tree. You're like, man, where am I gonna put this stuff? Um, I wanna make sure that my sticks are protected, make sure that the, the cool, is regulated, the heat is regulated so my cigars don't freeze and so they don't burn up. Um, how am I gonna do that? Let's see, let's get a thermoelectric humidor. <laughs> let's see, <laughs> <laughs> just get a thermoelectric humidor. There you go. <laughs> and one of the things you'll notice right off the bat is just how wide 
this particular humidor yeah, this is a big boy is yeah this is really a good size humidor it is a 500 count um, we can go ahead and open this up real Wait. quick and one of the features to this particular unit, Brother Stogie, was the double paned glass here on the door, which is gonna help insulate a lot of that temperature. Yes. So that if you're in a place or you have this in a place where the temperature tends to fluctuate a little bit more than usual, that tempered or the uh, double paned glass will actually help with that there. And don't forget about that thick weather strip seal that's yes. alongside the door. It's also gonna keep anything from getting inside the unit to make sure that your humidity stays right where it's supposed to be. Yes, and it is magnetized and there is a nice thud seal when you close it so that you know no air is getting inside there. Mm -hmm. It does have, it does come with two shelves and then a drawer, which are all three Spanish cedar. And you can see here, what I like there is that it looks like it, there you go, comes out real nice. If the Titan fam wants, you can definitely season the drawers it's not a necessity but if you're planning on doing that i would recommend doing the entire humidor not just the shelves wipe down the plastic if you're somebody that likes that pure cigar spanish cedar smell you may want to take a little soap and water to the inside just to get rid of that plastic smell but these these shelves go pretty deep into the humidor and we'll hit you with the dimensions here shortly but then you've got this nice big drawer that sits on the bottom of the unit there and it actually yeah, looks like there's deep. yeah and it, and it actually looks like it's got mm. an analog hygrometer on there this is the first unit that i can recall brother stogie that's actually had an analog hygrometer and a digital hygrometer on mm -hmm. the door it's usually one or the other um, not a huge fan of the analog hygrometers just because they don't tend to be quite as accurate as the digital hygrometers so I would pay more attention to the one you have on the door versus the one you have on the shelf here. Right, right. But the other benefit to this, Brother Stogie, you've got a box of cigars over there, don't you? Ooh, I do have a box of why cigars don't we, over here. Why don't we attempt to put that box of cigars in here just to kind of see the space inside the unit? You're thinking, man. I like how you think. So Brother Stogie went inside and raided the humidor. <laughs> yeah, so since we're <laughs> since we testing out the unit, we might as well see if, because we always give the option that you take this drawer out and you can just stack shit up. Yes. So, Let's take the shit out. So let's take the, take out the, the drawer itself. Okay. Get the bin to get the bin the bin of beat his box. Lay it in there. Sideways. Vertically. Take out the stack them bad boys. Alright, so this is actually a box of ten. This is the aging room collection here. Stack that in there. This is the Rocky Patel 16. I want to say that this is a box of, I think it was 20, 25, something like that. Um, to, sure, definitely sure, show me that sexy ass box though. Yeah, this the, one's the, empty. The, the velvet liner. But very, very nice. It's one of my favorite cigars of the year so far. And a, and a, and a bigger box. Yes, and I think this one was 25. And uh, this one's also empty at the moment, but another one of those beautiful boxes rocky patel has just been hitting it out of the park this year oh yeah i'll tell you what and boom so you've easily got a hundred cigars already sitting in the humidor just in your boxes mm -hmm. so i know the titan fam was doing some math there as we we're going through and they're going you know what that wasn't 100 cigars but there was space for at least another box or two in there that would have easily been 100 cigars just there on the bottom of the cigar but the stogie do you want to talk a little bit about some of the other features that this particular unit comes with of course so like always we always like the touch screen <coughs> <laughs> too much <laughs> too much smoke too much pasita right there <laughs> so all your touch screen features here where you can change from celsius to fahrenheit your bulb is right here to turn your light on and off so this the unit this is a unit it has, can you see that a little bit? Let's take that out real Let quick and give them an actual idea of what that looks like. Let me see. So this, that's new, not too bright. Let me see, turn. Off, on. So if you, not being close up to the unit, it already illuminates the top of the unit. Once you get back to the bottom, it's pretty dark, so it's not your strongest light. And we always shared the light is too bright or too big. You might run the risk of 
heating up your cigars ones or at least at the top so you probably don't want it that bright but always would be nice to have something that will illuminate your whole unit like that uh the other units we had the yes big, the, the big gold beat 24 karat gold one yes that one but anyway um so you can you can regulate your temperature turn your temperature up and down um up down up here down there always want to keep your your cigars around a safe a safe range between 69 and 72 degrees fahrenheit for your humidity um, I usually try to keep a safe rule of thumb for the extra temperature to be around the same. So my, my humidity at the house is 69, 70. So the humidity in my unit is 69, temperature in my unit, 70 degrees. Um, you always want to wash that, make sure it doesn't go too high or too low. Um, of course, having a humidor, you always kind of run the risk of having to kind of play with to see how your humidor works. Make sure you season it properly because I've had my humidity shoot all the way up. And what happens, you run the risk of your scars getting too much moisture in there, getting wet, getting soggy, and that will potentially ruin your cigar. So make sure you guys pay attention to that. Yes, the other particular thing to this unit, now there is two uh, things that set this unit apart. We'll get to that in a minute. But it, it should be noted that this is not a self-humidifying uh, thermoelectric humidor, so you are going to need to add your own humidity device to this to make sure that your cigars stay fresh, whether that is Bovida packs, Huma packs, beads, um, a cup of distilled water, whatever that looks like for you, you do wanna make sure that you have something in there to keep your cigars fresh. One of the other benefits to having a thermoelectric humidor is that it helps regulate the air inside the unit and circulates that throughout the entire unit to keep your cigars fresh so that humidity isn't just sitting in one place or the air isn't stagnant in there. It's constantly moving that around to keep your cigars as fresh as possible. One of the unique benefits to this particular unit, and Brother Sogi, I'll let you cover the other one, is this bottom drawer right here is actually filtered through uh, to allow for additional humidity to get in and around the cigars, especially when they're sitting on the bottom. And it's also, you can see there on the bottom, ventilated to allow for that air to circulate through the drawers as well to keep your cigars fresh. Same thing goes with the two shelves that are on top. So usually when we have humidity units that we've we reviewed, there's been like a recessed lining on side where the shelves kind of fit into. There's actually space on both sides of the shelves to kind of allow that humidification kind of roll through to control it all the way through. There's no disruptions or barriers to stop that, you know, the air from going well, through the unit as it should. Yep, and one of the other things that is really great about this unit, just you saw me pulling in and out, the shelves in and out of the unit. This is probably, honestly, Brother Stogie, one of the better units that we've had when it comes to being able or the ease of being able to pull those shelves in and out they're really nicely lined up inside the unit so it's not difficult to find where that kind of uh, shelf should land on the side of the unit when you're sliding it in and out mm -hmm. i can't tell you how many times and i have a thermoelectric humidor uh, that was a gift that i got several years ago um, that was a little bit of a pain when you're trying to pull the shelves out because trying to get those shelves to line back up was hard to find where that was the slits were on the side to do that mm -hmm. and then it would get stuck and you just couldn't get them out mm. this particular unit would probably have to be pulled out about that far in order to start pulling your shelves out all the way anything beyond that or close to that is going to prevent the shelf from being pulled out so you are going to have to allow for enough space to open that door wide enough so that you can pull your shelves out when you're looking for cigars. There is ventilation on the sides of the unit there, Brother Stogie, you got ventilation on your side? I do, yep. wide open. So you got ventilation on the side of the unit here, you Every got ventilation reader. on the top part of the back of the unit here. So I would recommend keeping this anywhere between a foot to two feet away from a wall. You don't wanna have it resting completely up against a wall. Mm -hmm. You are gonna restrict some of that air intake intake if you do that. Mm -hmm. But the ventilation here on the sides is a nice touch, pulling in extra air. So it's not just strictly pulling from the back when it's resting up against a wall or something. Agreed. So Brother Stogie, there is one more unique thing to this particular unit. What is that? So as compared to other units, we kind of been kind of dabbling at these points throughout the review. So 
they have my guard has really focused on the capacity to make sure you get the most out of your unit. So they have a 99% capacity rate. So you see where, this, where the drawer goes in that you still have about maybe an inch of space underneath the unit to make sure that you can actually get the most the the max capacity out of your unit. And as you've seen when the when the unit when the drawer was out, you can fit four or five boxes, and that's just yeah. that's just lining them up vertically inside the unit. And so imagine if you took out maybe you put the the drawer at the top and took the two shelves out. I mean, you you're talking about a ridiculous amount of storage yeah. within this unit. Yes. This is a matte finish with a gloss trim around the door here. And then you can see I've been pulling on this the whole episode to open the door. There's a nice little indented handle here on the side. This gloss black is going to be a fingerprint and dust magnet. So keep that in mind. You're probably gonna wanna have a microfiber cloth on hand just to keep your unit nice and clean, keep it free of dust and the fingerprints and everything else. Um, there is one thing that I noticed on this particular unit that uh, I know, Brother Stogie, you like to have on your humidors that I don't see on this humidor. What's that, bro? That is a lock and key for oh. the humidor to keep people, especially if you have kids or something like that, to keep the little hands out of your unit. However, MajGuard did something great. So usually with the other units we've, we've uh, reviewed when we look in the owner's manual, they tell you about the warranty and stuff like that. That it has to be acts of God yes. that you should be able to return these things because, because of your malfeasance. <laughs> Not malfeasance. You know what I'm saying? So, I, listen, Titan fam, that if this appliance is not intended for use by persons, including children, with reduced physical sensory or mental capabilities or lack of experience and knowledge unless they have been given supervision or instruction concerning use of the appliances by a person responsible for their safety. And children should be supervised to ensure they do not play with the appliance. So I'm gonna put that in perspective for y'all Titan fan. Okay? This unit should be operated by yourself and or a brother, a fellow BOTL that has been invited or regularly visits your home. Now if you have a party or a gathering at your house and that non cigar smoker that comes through who wants to finally try cigar smoking for the night. The paragraph in the book says you do not send him to your humidor by himself unsupervised. Yes, he's gotta be supervised. He has to be super, I don't care if he's a grown ass man. He has to be supervised to go to your humidor because he doesn't know how far to put the shelf back in before he closes the unit. Yes. So he might not put it all the way in, he'll close the door, he might crack the double pane glass that's on there. Guess who's a, who? Guess who's shit out of luck? <laughs> you are. You don't want that, do you, brother Stogie? You don't want that <laughs> because his lack of mental capability mixed in with your lack of common sense not to let the newbie into your unit without supervision. Yes, that's about the best way I can put that for the Titan fan. I, I think you nailed all the the hot topic points of that right there. Yeah. Excuse me, y'all. I know I go on my brother Stokey rants every now and then, and we're missing the most important piece of this review. Um, so, Carter Titan, let the Titan fam know how much this bad boy costs. Yeah, absolutely. So, this unit online right now will go for $139.99, which, so Majgar is knocking it out of the park by offering such a large unit. We'll put links in the description down below. So if you wanna check out Majgar and get a thermal electric humidor of your own, you can check the link down below. But Brother Stogie, before we go. But because, because bro, because they're watching our channel. Yes. Because they're watching the Seaguar Titans on YouTube and we are the what? The most entertaining cigar channel on all of the YouTubes. We are giving the bitch away. That's right. So all you got to do is hashtag Mojgar, M-O-J-G-A-R. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mojgar. <laughs> hashtag Mojgar. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do it one more time fluently. M-O-J-G-A-R. <laughs> hashtag that in the description. Let us know. Hey, man, we would love to have this big old sexy unit right here from Mojgar. We will be glad to give this away to a lucky Titan fam member. But Brother Stogie, yeah. that is all the time we have for today. It is. What should the people do? Um, 
subscribe to the channel. Yes. Okay. Welcome to all the welcome all the new Titan Fan members. Thank you for joining us. Um, I know they have visited us and they let us know they found us on the Cigarello video. Yep. Um, they have found us on the gas station video. Still, still, hundred thousand plus views on our first gas station cigar video. We appreciate y'all. So in order to get nice ass content like this from these two fellas right here, and we didn't plan the plaid thing on purpose. No. Um, I wore this and then came here and then his pale ass was wearing a plaid shirt too. So it was like, well, fuck, hey, we bros, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got us, you got to ring that bell so you can notification every time a cigar type is posted a video for y'all. Like the comments, comment down below. Don't forget to hashtag Majgar and uh, live how you smoke, smoke how you live. Yes. That's smooth, baby. We'll see everybody in the next one.